Hi, I'm Julia Montesano. Round 6 provided us with many talking points across all three divisions. We have two undefeated teams in Aberfeldy and Coburg districts. And in Essendon 4 Division 1, we saw Airport West defeat West Meadows. The EDFR match of the day crew travelled down to Joe Brown Oval to see Keelor take on Greenvale. Keelor were up by two goals at half time, but Greenvale kicked into gear and won the game in the end. Here are the highlights. Well, Which it's going to be useful. Does. He went for Fort Caruso. Looked like the ball might have bounced, but it looked like he might have been paying the mark. He decides to play on anyway. He goes on the left towards the goal square. Shepard on the goal line, wow. and there's the first goal of the afternoon. Was it was a... Fort Caruso on the left. Back in the middle, Brown went up unopposed there against Nat Caruso, the kind of makeshift second ruckman, and allowed Papalia to get a quick oh. clearance. He sends it inside 50, and Galea runs onto it and puts it through. He's got two in 20 seconds. So, Atavi did well to get a moving forward. It was Williams' apologies. Now, Granger sends it inside 50. He's got Galea and Parthenopoulos in a one-on-one. -on -one. Parthenopoulos did well. He went to ground, though, and Galea will kick the goal from the goal line. East Kilo out to a very fast start against Hadfield at 7-6-48 to 1-1-7. Snap on goal here from Marik. Will land at the top of the square. Thompson got caught behind that time, trying to soccer it through. Was another Jet Thompson. In tight quarters, has to get around two tacklers. Oh, he well. almost bit off more than he could chew, but he held on and kicked a goal. Well done, Jacob Thompson for Keelor. Ground level, Joyce just worked it out nicely. Hand pass out. Kennedy had his kick smothered. It ricocheted out the back. Greenvale looking for an opening, and then it was provided, and the finishing job was done by Adam Marrick. Another one for the Jets, and scores a level. And Caruso is going to claim it. In the middle of Joe Brown Oval. And he's got no one on the mark, so he can go for a run. Nat Caruso inside 50. Brother Fort's down there. Adam Marrick as well. He's the man leading back for the ball. Over the top. Loose man. Another one for the Jets. And it's Jacob Thompson. Brown was on the last line. Now Nick Marrick needed a handball option. Did get it out in the end. Now a backward kick for the Jets, and it's okay. Usel takes the mark. You see a nice little tactic there from a couple of the Greenvale players trying to drag their man close to... Uh Close to the set shot, but uh, he's uh, going to line up from 50, and he absolutely nails it. It's a lovely kick off the right. Got all of that long absence. His kick in the middle of the ground was good for Hards. He wasn't able to take the mark, but had time to gather a ground level. Now, he sends it inside 50. Gordis might have been taken high, but umpire said no. So, at ground level, good cartel. He has a shot on goal, and there's the one kill or needed. They're back to within 16 points. Greenvale as the kick in comes in. McGuan was the long target. He got hands to it, but at ground level it was all Jets. Machevsky's kick towards the goal square. Is a mark taken? No ball at ground level. Marrick at the back of the pack, and there's a goal. Very Keylord trailing by 36 very points. Very lucky not to get holding the ball there. Just got the kick away, but as we saw last night's game, Bob Murphy could argue otherwise. Usel just off hands and then wow. got the right foot shot on goal. The margin's out. To 42 points. Usel gets his second. Stays in play here right up against Guy Barbudo. Third man in is Adam Marrick. He just went in and stole the ball and got the hand pass out. So good play by the Jets. Another late chance to put another one on the board and get to three figures. It's going to be a right foot snap from the corridor and it's a goal. So in the end, it was Greenvale by 54 points. They now sit third on the ladder in Strathmore Community Bank Premier Division. This week's broadcast game will be at Hanson Reserve in a top of the table clash where Airport West will take on Glenroy in Essendon 4 Division 1. Tune in from 2pm on 98.9 Northwest FM or head over to mixler.com forward slash EDFL footy. And as always, if you're heading to the game, grab yourself a record and don't forget to keep up to date with all the live scores on the EDFL Live app. Have a great weekend.